What is up, guys? Welcome to Excoundrel AFK Journey. Today, we're going to be talking about Valor. I've seen so much discussion about Valor. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Valor is currently on the Rate Up banner. What this means is that... One second. My dog. Come on, Brady. He scratches at the door if he can't get in. What this means is that the rate up banner. So if you spend uh, ten rate up invite letters, if you get an if you pull an S tier hero, it is going to be Valor. Um, so basically, you can guarantee yourself this particular hero and copies of this particular hero by either spending diamonds, so it's three thousand um, for ten, or by spending rate up recruitment letters. A couple of things to, worth noting: the maximum number of valors that you can pull is based on the highest rarity of one of your other um heroes and this is where it's really important this is where you got to take notes this is where you got to remember there is absolutely or there is almost no reason to do this unless you have either a legendary or a mythic preferably a mythic okay one copy of Valor is okay. So if you're going to use this and get one copy of Valor, it is okay. Valor is unique um, in the sense that she is a hero that can attack the back line as a ranged hero. So there are, there are not, I don't think there are any other heroes in the game that can do this, but either way, it's quite unique in the sense that you can place Valor on the field and she will guarantee herself a hit or to start attacking someone on the back line. And then when she uses her ability, she can dash to the back line and often kill them. In your early progression, this can be quite useful, sometimes as a healer or sometimes as a powerful backline mage that you want to use Valor to take down. But that is about the extent of her usefulness. She gets outclassed pretty quickly in progression if you don't have her at Mythic Plus. If you have her at Mythic Plus, however, you get her Knight Maneuver exclusive uh, equipment. Uh, and essentially... When a marked target is killed, it does not need to be killed by Valor herself, Valor can hide in the darkness and can only be targeted after all other allies are defeated, increasing her movement speed by 60% and her haste by 80 for 10 seconds. She gets an attack speed boost and she also gets a movement speed boost. It is nutty, really quite nutty how good this is. And that is why, if we go back to the rate up, that is why it's really only worth going for Valor on rate up recruitment if you have at least a legendary, because then you could then go and put her on your wish list and get one more copy. But essentially what you need is five copies of Valor, because five copies will get you to Mythic Plus. Mythic Plus is where Valor actually becomes good, and she can solo carry you through plenty of encounters. I was getting stuck and I decided to whack 20, 30k diamonds into uh, trying to pull Valor uh, because I didn't really have anything else to spend them on. I wouldn't recommend doing this, by the way, if you're not that bothered about Valor, but I just did it because I wanted Valor. Um, I basically then was able to get Valor at Mythic Plus, but I already had a Mythic hero, so I was able to pull at least five copies from this rate up recruitment. And once you get her to Mythic Plus, don't bother with it anymore. So either get one copy just because she can be quite useful in, in occasional fights, or you've got to go all in and get five copies. There is no in-between with Valor. There is absolutely no real point doing an in-between. It's either one copy or five. That is basically how you have to approach this. And now I actually use Valor in a lot of my compositions. So I'm actually going to show you. Uh, I could probably, I can progress this AFK um, section a bit more so let's say i've got valor targeting the um od on the back line right now um i also like to use confining spell if you have access to it i'm not even going to bother um manually casting here but watch i mean you're going to see it in a moment I, I think i should be actually able to get through this but like killed now valor has gone invisible and she is basically just killing everyone because she can't be she can't be targeted it's kind of crazy i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna afk push a little bit and try and find a really hard one but she's also great in pvp which i'm going to show you in a minute as well okay i've got to afk stage 419 this is quite difficult there's a rowan on the back line and the only thing about valor is she can't actually target in the middle um you're either targeting the left or the right which is a bit of a pain but what i like to do in these situations is sometimes change out to iron wool spell 
Um, because this just means that my Thorin survives a little bit longer. Which just can sometimes set up my uh, Valor a bit more time. There's a lot of healing on this. Uh, yeah, a lot of healing, which is a problem here. I need to hopefully get... Yeah, there we go. Taken down low. There's too much healing at the moment. I need Valor to dive to the back line, really. Okay, we've killed one. Good. There we go. Valor jumps in. She's not actually going to do much here. Did enough stuns on the back line, which was good. Sometimes I like to switch out to Iron Wolf spell just for my Thorin because it means that my Thorin's much more likely to stay alive and buy my time, buy my team time. It's not a great target for me to go to. Odie's in the middle, which is a good way to protect against something like Valor. If you want Valor to protect, uh, protect, uh, if you want to protect your back line, you put three in the back line versus Valor. This might be another situation where I have to use the Iron Wolf spell. A uh, little bit of damage there. Uh, I need Cessia. I need Cessia to cast, but she he's already dead. Uh, this is the, the only the only problem with Valor is that um, you need Thorin to survive. So this is going to be another situation where I may switch out to Iron Wall spell. I do this occasionally when I really would like my um, Thorin to tank the majority of the damage, so I can just like, buy time for basically my entire roster to level up. Some reason my Viperian just got one shot though. Okay, that's not the right place for. So this, this, here we go. We're going to jump in. We just need to get the kill. We just need to get the kill, and it's probably okay. No, never mind. Not doing enough damage to get the kill. I think this is definitely possible. I just need to make sure that it's my my Viperian is not getting absolutely one shot because he was just getting one shot by some. Yeah. What's one shotting him? I just need to get a kill onto something. There, okay, that, now now she's untargetable. Now she's untargetable. It's just about now buying our time. See, now now my um, Valor is not going to be targeted until the end of the game. And she just basically killed everything. So there we go. We just we messed around with the positioning. Valor basically carried that. Even though it, even though Cessia was doing a huge amount of DPS. And you can have a look at the stats. Right? Cessia did the majority of the DPS. Valor did the killing blows on people on the back line. So Valor was able to kill off the people on the back line which made it much easier for my Cessia to kind of like tank the damage and get the huge amount of AoE damage off. Because an AoE mage is always going to out-damage a single target assassin. That's just how it is. But Valor was just so useful in taking down those backline um, members. And also because she was untargetable until the end. Like, crazy good. Yeah, she's played that. We played that really well. Um, I'm going to go straight for Cessia on this one. And I'm probably going to switch out to Iron Wall because they don't have anything... Sorry, so confining because they've got more of a threatening backline than they have a high damage frontline. So we're, we're in see, what we're doing here, very important. Um, we are stopping their Cessia from casting by not only stunning her, but we're also using Confining Spell. So their Cessia has generated practically no energy, um, and she's now essentially dead. And what I'm going to do is my Valor, my, yeah, my Valor dives to the back line here, and is now just going to essentially run around killing practically everyone, even though this you know was a relatively easy fight. We used Valor to just lock down the Cessia pretty much the entire time, the entire time round. Um, it is now going to be their Thorin versus mine, but we have the Confining spell, and we end up getting the kill. But if their Cessia casted, we would have lost that. So we used Valor to just continuously lock up their Cessia, and she didn't get a chance to cast, um, which is really good. And that is probably enough, enough AFK progress for me today. It's getting to the point where I have to really think about how I'm approaching it. I've also beaten my... There's a guy on my server that I'm competing with <laughs> for AFK stages, so I'm past him now. I'm happy. So yeah, Valor really, really good in that sense. Uh, no, I don't know if I want to... Congratulations. Congrats on that. Do you want to spend money? No, I don't. I spent enough money. I've spent enough money on this game already. <laughs> One, two, five. You always want to forge. There's no point. You can't save those forging resources. So you always want to forge. If you can. And right, I'm going to go show you Cessia in... Sorry, not Cessia. Um, Valor in PvP. So this guy's... Can we get someone who's a little bit higher... Uh, yeah, there's not that many people in the ladder, so I'm going to have to go for this person. Right. So, they've got Valor as well. Let's see if I can... So, I can only target their Valor. Can I not target their Cessia? No, I can target their Valor. Let's target their Rowan, then. Um, and let's get them to target my Viperion. I don't really want their... Um, I, need my, I need that Viperion there. 
pretty much the same composition as me. He's just running Lucius. Uh, he's also running Healing Awakening spell, whereas I'm running Confining spell, which is just better for PvP in my opinion. All right, so Valor, Stun, there, Rowan. We're going to get our Rowan to cast first, which is always really good. And now, look, my Valor's just going to clean up their entire team. She's in. She's got her Mythic Plus enchant, so she's just going to, yep, kill theirs. Boom. Boom. Valor, is, Valor at Mythic Plus is insanely good for PvP. I am a higher power level than this guy. I might try and see if I can do some more to find someone that's at a relatively similar power level to me. Um... Go. It's always worth it to spend a few diamonds on this. This will. Okay, this 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 person is at a similar power level. In fact, higher power level than me. So they've got Antandra in the middle there. Um, so we're going to do this. They're running Confining Spell as well. So they are running a Valor at 111 with Mythic. I think she's Supreme. So I'm probably I am probably going to lose this. Um. Let's put my Viperian taking the damage. And I want to lock... He's also got um, Scarlita. Wow, okay. Scarlita not at Mythic Plus, though. So that's obviously positive. Um, let's just keep stunning. Let's just... Wait, my... Yeah, so my, my Rowan's going to cast, which is great, which should... Oh, no, she just one-shot my... Um, their Valor just one-shot my Valor. However, we do have our Cessia ult coming through. No, there's their set there's their Cessia ult, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I mean they had Scarlita, which kind of popped like absolutely popped me. Um Scarlita is insane. But that shows you his valor. His valor is slightly higher level and at Supreme and just basically one shot me. So uh we'll see if we can go again. It's always worth it to try and go Dongus. Yeah, let's go for Dongus. I know Dongus. Uh, again, also running Valor at Mythic Plus. Uh, why am I running him? I don't want to run that person. I want to run Valor here. He's got Brutus at Mythic Plus, and he's got Smokey and Mickey at Mythic, and he's also running Temesia. So I am expecting... Temesia is... This is really nice from him. He has set it up so that Temesia will always be the target of the Valor on this map, which makes it a little more difficult, whereas Valor is going to be... Valor is... Unless I put Valor a little further forward, Valor is going to be um, my target. Ah, very, very clever. Very clever positioning. Temesia will just run through this map as well. She's very, very good, to be fair. Temesia is just basically one-shot stuff. Um... It's actually gone all right. The, this has gone okay for the time being. I need to get my Cessia to cast. We, we just need to get... Um, yeah, so that's a good cast from Cessia. Yes, yes. Now we've got my Valor into uh, into her X, X form. We're going to be fine here. Really, really clever positioning from him, but I just don't think his... Um, I don't think his Temesia was high enough level to kind of be able to play that role effectively. But really good positioning from, from that guy, just basically making it impossible for... Um, or making it very difficult for Valor to um, hit anything other than the Temesia. And obviously Temesia is kind of tanky, so make basically means that Valor gets stuck. One of the things about Valor is that it's like, obviously she needs the kill to get that, uh, that EX weapon going. So you kind of want to get her on, focused on a squishy target. You want to you want to um, pair her with extra damage to the back line. So things like Viperion and things like um, Cessia work quite well in that, that regard. Um, things like Odie get stuck on the front line for quite some time. So... You know, you want things like Cessia and you want things like um, Viperion to support a um, a Valor to be able to get her X weapon activated. Because if you don't get it activated, it's not as good. But yeah, she's she's incredible um, in PvP as well, if you care about PvP. Um, and also, obviously, very good in story. Now, I've, I've obviously now just made it to the, the Veduso Mountains. I could probably clear the majority of the Veduso Mountains content one. I'm probably pretty close to getting to uh, unlocking uh, Veduso Mountains 2. So I've still got quite a lot to do. Um... And and honestly, Valor has made that good. But like I said, it is it's one copy or five copies. There isn't really any in between with Valor. There's no point trying to fish for more than one copy if you don't think you're confident that you can go for the five copies. Um, so if you're going to try and get Valor, get her to Mythic Plus because that makes her very good. But if you you know if that's not possible, then don't worry about it. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy. I'll see you soon.